Hey, welcome back everyone. Uh, it's been all summer since we've uh, let out a video and um, so we're going to remedy that right now. Here's this video. Uh, we did a little test out at Mark's um, on the new spark plug. Uh, new spark plug meaning one I found on eBay that uh, I'm not sure what engine it actually was ever designed for but anyhow I've looked like it might work so I bought one and we did a little couple of modifications and um, as you know uh, as you may or may not know I tried to use start the engine with this spark plug uh, this spring after the restoration but uh, it would it failed to start would not light off the fuel uh, it was dry we determined um, that air was blowing through the the igniter plug through a cooling air hole and uh, keeping the fuel mixture away so I took that plug out and put the original uh, Fairchild J44 whoever made that plug back in it and uh, it started so the runs you saw this spring were ignited and started using the original J44 plug um, however um, you know my intention is to go uh, with a larger spark and try to get away from having to mix gasoline with the jet fuel uh, as it sits, the J44 with the regular single tiny igniter plug uh, will not, I haven't had any luck at, with it, getting it to start on straight jet fuel. You have to mix in about 20% gasoline to get it to light. Once it lights, it's fine. Uh, so my intention is to try to get a larger, hotter spark to try to light just straight jet fuel. Okay, we're going to cut away to a video I made uh, last Sunday out at uh, Mark's farm, and we'll show you what I'm doing with the spark plug. Hey, we're out at Mark's. We're going to, uh, attempt, to attempt to test this spark plug modification we have here. Uh, I'm going to try to get up to the camera and show you quickly. This was a, an igniter or spark plug from an engine that I have no idea what, but I found it on eBay cheap enough. New old stock. We modified it to fit the J44 and if you remember on my first start attempts this spring we had no start. When we tried to start it, uh, it wasn't igniting even though this was sparking very well but it wouldn't start off so guess what? Go back to the drawing board and we uh, welded up the hole here with a plug, stainless steel, which is a cooling hole that was uh, on the original design, its purpose, so we were figuring maybe it was drying. Uh, too much air was blowing around the tip here because this was bone dry even though the engine had fuel pouring out of the back of it. So we're going to put this in today and see if it will start. Uh, if it doesn't, we'll go to the next move. So that's why we're here. It's a nice day. Uh, it's supposed to get cold this week so we thought maybe we'd give it a real quick try here this afternoon. Alright, we're going to put this dude in and let's see what happens. Oh, sorry, I must apologize for how t terrible I was dressed there, uh, Darren, with his uh, bright shirt tail hanging out from under the sweatshirt. Sorry, didn't care. I was out there to run a jet engine, and uh, it's not a glamour show, so uh, just apologizing for the slop. Hey. Okay, as you can see, basically, uh, we Mark welded up that hole with a plug of stainless steel. Uh, we haven't got it all looking real nice yet, but this is just a temporary little plug to see if we can get to start. So I installed that modified uh, igniter plug in the engine, and we moved the engine out into the driveway, and we'll, now we'll take a look at uh, a start attempt. Okay, this is going to be shot from the camera on the tripod, and uh, just the light off, and run up, um, and then I take the camera off of the tripod and do a really horribly shaky walk around with it. So I try to edit that with really there's very little that you can watch. It's too shaky and horrible. Uh, but it did light off and uh, we'll look at that right now. Take out another shot. Okay, take one. Right. Plus I won't do it home. Right. We got a fuel pump on, we're going to let the starter screw up, turn the ignition on, and then hit the fuel and see what happens, right? Uh, I got a power screen link on my dual link.
Okay, as you can see, um, it started, it ran. Um, Try to get a little, uh, we had a little uh, unsteadiness, uh, hunting of the governor there at the very, very beginning. Um, but that smoothed out uh, after it ran. Maybe they had some air in the line. I don't know. I've never seen it do that before. But after that, I hadn't any, had any trouble. The rest of the day was no problem. Uh, also, uh, with that view, uh, looking at the side of the engine, if you'll really notice and maybe think back and play it again, look at the fuel pressure gauge, that fuel inlet pressure, which is insufficient and it's not regulated. This is just a straight up fuel pump, boost pump that's providing about 25 PSI static, but when you open the fuel valve and start consuming fuel, uh, the pressure falls and pretty much by the time you're at 50% RPM we're down to about almost zero inlet pressure meaning the pump is not keeping up, heart is barely keeping up. That is why I said there's a bigger pump in the future to get more power out of the engine but for now. <clears throat> but you notice the fuel gauge pressure varying and dropping as it accelerates and then raising back up when it stops accelerating. Uh, it's kind of interesting how that coincides with the speed of the engine and the sounds it's making so pay attention to that. Okay, the second run I did that day is very short, uh, and it's entirely the camera on the console, so you can watch the, the uh, indicators, uh, mainly the temperature gauge, the exhaust or turbine outlet temperature gauge. Uh, start the engine, run it uh, up to 50% RPM, and then um, you can see here and listen, but um, what is hear out sounds as you look at the gauges. Uh, you'll notice, uh, especially, you know, Agent Jay-Z and, you know, you and uh, Graham J, 9101, can observe uh, the temperature I've been, I'm seeing there indicated as far, is well below the maximum, so, uh, however, as it runs, it, uh, it appears to be about 525 degrees Celsius, uh, which looks like it's far below anything bad, alright, so uh, help me there if you have any input or comments. Obviously, you're welcome and feel free. Okay, so let's take a look at this console run real quick and then uh, we'll wrap it up. Okay, let's see if we go. Take two. Speed up.
there you have it. Uh, hopefully you noticed the indications on the uh, exhaust temperature versus RPM versus sound. Yeah, I had one camera with me that day, so I don't have multiple angles. Um, we just had one to deal with. So anyway, uh, we'll wrap this up. We're done with that. Um, got a little bit more experimenting to do, and if uh, the weather comes out nice, we'll, uh, we'll get out and try to do another run. I'll get it on video. So the next test will be to try to start it on straight kerosene or straight jet fuel. You know, get because uh, it's ran down to pretty much empty now. There's very little fuel left in the tank, so we'll fill it up with some um, regular kerosene or jet A, and then we'll try to start it a couple times, see how it starts, how it acts. Hopefully, it will. If it does start, we're on the right track now. All right, well, thanks for all watching. Appreciate your interest. Followers, uh, feel free to comment or ask questions. So, uh, we'll be get, trying to get a new video uh, uploaded as soon as I can get something together. If anything exciting happens, uh, like I said, we'll let you know. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, uh, cheers. Have a good one.